today I'm going to deliver a lecture on microbial acids. Microbial acid. We can determine the mutagenicity, carcinogenicity, and potency of compound by using a microorganism. This microorganism play a vital role to determine where the determine the assay of several compounds, several unknown compounds. For example, we determine the mutagenicity of compound. For example, for instance, the compound is mutagenic or not. These are usually determined by the M test. Several same discovered the M test in 1970. They use a salmonella urea. This is a bacteria. This is bacteria known as a salmonella urea. One of the important thing about this bacteria, these bacteria only grow in presence of histidine and amino acid. If the histidine is not present, the salmonella typhimuria not proliferate and differentiate it. Means this histidine is necessary for the sake of growth and maturation of this salmonella typhimuria as well as dividage. We take in culture pediatric dish. Here we going to culture this salmonella typhimuria for example these round skulls are salmonella typhimuria bacteria and this culture media, media this entire whole is a predatory dish this culture media yes, it is a predatory dish this culture media does not contain histidine residues does not contain histidine that's why this salmonella typhimuria unable to grow fulfilled we put our interest of chemical inside the predatory dish. For example, this is a mag chemical X. I want to test this compound is a mutagenic or not. After after 30 uh, incubated 37 degree, it sulfures for 24 hour. Usually 24 hour, it can take more time, not less. Time. It depends on your culture media. Then, if the the growth shown like such means there is a dense growth of salmonella typhimuria we can simply say that these compound bring a mutation in salmonella typhimuria because the salmonella typhimuria only grow in presence of study. these compound get disturbed the cell cycle of this salmonella typhimuria and introduce the too much growth it is uncontrolled growth that's why we can see that our interest chemical is mutagenic it, it brings a mutation in bacteria that's why there the colony is grow in gigantic manner if there is a compound is not uh, carcinogenic uh, sorry mutagenic in the growth like such kind of growth we can uh, can't say that this is a mutation this is a, a spontaneous mutation a spontaneous mutation it's a spontaneous muta mutation which usually occur and if there is a no growth means colony as it is colony we can say that the given compound not an carcinogenic uh, sorry not an mutagenic it is not a mutagenic if such kind of result we going to form means we will we introduce a salmonella typhimuria in a predatory dish and there is absence of histidine amino acid if the growth like such such kind of growth we can say that this chemical is responsible for this growth and we simply say that this chemical is in mutagenic if there is a spontaneous mutation there is a no mutagenic compound we can say that the, our test chemical our test compound which we are going to put inside the predatory dish where the culture of salmonella typhim typhimuria is we can say that there is a, uh, this compound is not a mutagenic and here as uh, same as the predatory dish we after 37 after putting in 37 degrees for two days we can say that this compound is not mutagenic depend upon the result which kind of result we are going to form we can say that by using a microorganism our unknown chemical of interest is mutagenic or not 